Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about project crashing, shortening a project's duration. And I have a toy example here I want to use. And first thing is that there, is, there are activities listed here and their predecessors and their durations. I'm going to start building my network diagram. So I will just create a network diagram here, activity A, then I have activity B, that follows A, activity C also follows A, and then D also follows A. And after that, I have activity E that follows B, and F follows C and D. And finally, we have G. G follows E and F. Okay, so I'm going to put the duration of these activities and activity duration A is 3, and then B is 6, uh, C is 10, uh, D is 11, E is 8, and F is 5, G is 6. Now, the key idea here is that to find the project duration. I realized that there are, from the beginning to the end, there are three paths. And one of them is A, B, E, G. The other one is A, C, F, G. And A, D, F, G is the third one. So what's happening here is that if I do A, B needs to come after A, E needs to come after B, and G needs to come after E. I can just look at the other path in the same way. A, C comes after A, F comes after C, and G comes after F. So in that case, if I look at every path, I would be able to find a duration. So A, B, E, G, the duration adds up to 3 plus 6 plus 8, 14, 17, plus 6 is 23, while A, C, F, G is uh, 13, 18, and... Um, 24, ADFG is 25. In that case, while ADFG, this 25, is going to be processed, B, C, and E are also done at the same time. So the project duration will not be extended by B, C, and E because there is already a longer path there, so ADFG. So the project duration here is 25. So we have the duration. And we call this path as our critical path. So ADFG is the ADFG is our critical path, and the project duration is 25 days. So let's say the, the company wants to reduce this project duration from 25 days to 24 days. And what they need to do is they need to look at how much does it cost to reduce the project duration. Let's say there is a certain task to be completed by electricians, if this is a house and construct, construction process and project, what they could do is they could just maybe add more workers and pay additional amount of money to speed up the process. But while speeding up the process, they also save money because they won't have to be there one additional day so there is going to be a saving of certain costs. So we call this as a direct and indirect cost. Direct costs are the costs that are re directly related to the activities. So right now, the direct cost for each activity, we have 50, 80, 60, all these amounts. The total direct cost adds up to $450, and that is the sum of all these uh, cost values. And then the, the indirect costs, on the other hand, are the, the overhead costs, uh, some other expenses that happens every day, no matter what. So if you don't spend that day, then you're going to save money. So right now there are $400, but if you reduce this project duration from 25 days to 24 days, then you are going to be saving $50 as because you are shortening the project. So you're saving money, but you're also 
paying money, incurring additional costs because you are shortening the project duration. So this becomes a decision-making process. Let's just first, before ignore the indirect uh, costs, but try to uh, maybe focus on the idea of which activity that we should consider shortening uh, so that we could shorten this project duration from 25 days to 24 days. I see that the cost per day is like cost per day shortening the duration is the uh, lowest for activity A and that's $20. And I also realized that B, yes, C and E are not on that longest path that determines the project duration. So even if they have, let's say, if uh, B has not $40, but $10 uh, cost to shorten it one day, then it is not going to help because we are, even if you reduce the, pro the activity duration, it is not going to reduce the project duration. So we have to, our candidate uh, tasks are A, D, F, and G. And A is the cheapest option to shorten. So that means we will first just focus on A and just reduce it from three to two. And we realize that the maximum number of days that we could crash A is just one. So we won't be able to crash it anymore. So I put an X right beside that. I also look at the activity G. G does not have any crash possibility. So even if you pay millions of dollars, you are not going to be able to reduce that duration. So possibly you can, but let's say for the sake of this example. So in that case, it could be some maybe technical reasons. Uh, if let's say a concrete is, it requires six days of curing process, then you won't be able to reduce that to five days, something like that. So there is, uh, there is no possibility of reducing this one either. The other ones, um, the cost, the direct cost and the crash costs are provided and the cost per day is just pro, uh, found by uh, the from the normal duration to the crash duration, how many days that you could reduce it for how much money, then you are assuming that the cost is linearly decreasing and then you are finding the cost per day and that is the value that you find here. So this is the formula, okay? So I'm going to now uh, just look at the, the activities. Uh, let me just turn my laptop into laptop form again, in tablet form. And I'm going to now uh, realize that my, the project duration is now 24 days. And uh, there is no way that I could crash A anymore. So A is the duration is now two and the crash is already done. And I need to look for some other options if I want to reduce this project duration further from 24 to 23. So if I have the duration 24, what's gonna happen is that my direct cost is going to go up to $470. Why? Because I'm adding, uh, I'm re by reducing the projects, the activity A's duration, I have to pay $20. So this direct cost goes up to 470, but the indirect cost goes down to 350. <clears throat> and in total, my cost is $820 now compared to $850, uh, dollars, okay? So I was able to reduce actually the project cost by just reducing the time, which is a good thing because I would be able to enjoy the shortened project duration while I also save money. And in that case, I'm gonna now look for another option. So I'm becoming greedy. I'm going to let me just you know, go to down to 23 if I can. So I look at the options now because A was common for all paths and reducing A did not change my critical path. So the, the important point here is that you cannot just crash multiple days at a time because the project duration may change. And just reducing one time may result in another path becoming a critical path. 
So in that case, I have to be careful, but right now there is no change in my critical path, even though the duration was uh, reduced to 24 days. So to reduce it to 23 days, I'm looking for my options. And I need to look for my options from the critical path. And I see that the only two candidates are D and F because A and G are not eligible anymore. I look at D, D is $25 and F is $30. So I would go ahead and choose D to shorten its duration. And I'm going to go to uh, 11 to 10 for D. So if I take D and make that duration 10, then what's going to happen is I'll have to pay another 25 bucks for that. My direct cost is going to go up to 495, but my indirect cost is going to go down to 300. Indirect savings per day was $50. So these are just given numbers so my cost now is reduced to 795 day uh, dollars with 23 days of duration but at this point i realized something i realized that when i look at the critical path this path adfg is 23 but acfg is also 23 so i look at here this is also 23 12 plus 5 plus 6 which is 15, um, 5, 6, 11, 21, and 23. Okay. So in that case, in addition to ADFG, I also have A, C, F, and G, which is also a critical path. Now, I am going to look at my options. I can reduce D one more time for $25. So there's four times that I could reduce it. But the reducing D is not going to help me because there is another path. ACFG's duration is not going to change. ACFG is still going to be 23 days, even though ADFG reduces to 22 days. So the only thing I could do is that I could just maybe choose C and D together and shorten them. D needs a body to reduce the project duration. But then there is F. F tells us that, hey, I can do this myself alone. I don't need a buddy. So, but how much do you cost F? F costs $30, which is more expensive than D, $30, but D itself cannot do this uh, without C. So in that case, instead of using C and D together, the option is going to be then using the common element F and reducing F going from 5 to what? 4. And that is going to reduce my project duration and it's going to take it to 22 days. So F is going to be 4, but F can only be crashed once. So F is also done. There is no way I cannot sh shorten that anymore. So my cost is going to be 22 days now. The indirect cost is going to go up to what? $525 with the F and 525. And my indirect cost is going to be $250. And the, the total cost adds up to $775, which is the smallest. So I'm becoming, okay, you know what? I can go further. I'm just going to go now to 21. But at this point, I realized another thing. I realized that the path A, B, E, G, so this is designed to be like that to cause some trouble, right? So A, B, E, G also becomes a critical path. So it's 2 plus 6 plus 8, 14, 16, and 22. So in that case, I have one more critical path and that makes every path critical. So A, B, E, G is A, B, and E, and G is also a critical path. Now I can crash G, but there is no possibility. F, I cannot do that. And I'm seeing here that A cannot be done. The only option that I have here is, the only option I have here is to reduce D from this path, C from this path, 
and B and E the cheapest one from this path so D and C should be there okay and I look at the B and E combination E is the cheapest option so I'm going to reduce I have to reduce this three all together D C and E so reducing D to nine E to seven and C to okay so what did I do here uh, D to nine and E to seven and then D to uh, C to nine as well is going to reduce my project duration so I'm going to have this this is going to go to nine this is going to go to nine and this is going to go to seven if I look at that option now then I will have two plus six plus seven plus six thirteen uh, nineteen and twenty one so this would just make the 21 but my cost is going to now go up to what it is going to go up to C and D $55 and then and E is another $30 $85 so $525 plus $85 $610 and I would have my interact cost goes down to $200 and my total cost goes now up to 810 so 21 days increase my cost from 775 so I no longer enjoy this um, reduction or the shortening or crashing the project duration and I also realize another thing I see that C cannot be completed it crashed more than once so when I crash C, I am all set with C and D can be crashed further and I see that E can also be crashed further. But at this point, you may pause your video and think about this. Can I crash this project one more time? Can I go from 21 to 20? And you would realize that it is not going to be possible because the path one of the paths which is a c f g is now does not have any activity on it that you can crash further a no possible way it's done maximum crash is done c maximum crash is done f done and g is done so in that case there is no way that i could just reduce this project duration further and the optimal duration for this project under this crashing condition is going to be 22 days because that gives us the lowest total cost value and this is just to understand the idea behind it for a managerial perspective you're not going to maybe possibly do this on a project to shorten but you would realize that if you shorten an activity in a project and for more than one day or one week and another path may become a critical path may become the bottleneck of your project and reducing a certain activities duration is not going to help you much it is only going to cost you money and it is not going to shorten the project duration so the idea here is that uh, there are multiple paths and each path may become a critical path in your project and when you are shortening project duration you have to pay attention to those changes now this can be done also using linear programming in Excel and I explained this in here just a manual method and I'm got now going to go to the project crashing shortening a project duration using linear programming but that is going to be the next videos topic thanks for watching